Hello and welcome, Giorgio Chiotis, your director of brand marketing for Scape. And today you talked about the Generation Z and the Millennials and how we have to tailor our marketing around these two generations. To start up first, what has changed with these two new young generations? The biggest change is the new digital sphere. It's the fact that they are both digitally savvy. Um, they're both demanding of brands and brands need to keep up with these demands. The two groups are different. The biggest difference is that there is the digital pioneer side of the millennials, but the Gen Z are digital natives. Uh, millennials grew up with computers, uh, Gen Z grew up with touchscreens. So there is difference in focuses. Uh, millennials like uh, words more, uh, Gen Z likes pictures and, uh, you know, like visuals. A lot of marketers wonder uh, how to cater to both. And the biggest answer is that it is possible, uh, but it is about tailoring your content and making sure that it is talking to the group. So what does it mean to tailor to these generations? How can we reach them? So uh, in the presentation, I gave an example. Uh, we did a sustainability campaign with Scape. So we encourage our guests to come and swap a plastic bottle for a branded Scape bottle, uh, which would save more than one ton of plastic throughout the year. Um, the way that we released the campaign, uh, initially we, uh, on the first day, we posted it on Facebook and we created a 500 word blog uh, for it. And we saw that our third, fourth uh, and uh, postgraduate year students came down and grabbed the bottle. Uh, so that would relate more to the millennial demographic. The next day we put it on Snapchat, on Instagram and Instagram stories which is far more visual. Uh, and we saw our first and second year students rush down and uh, collect their bottles. So instead of putting a blanket email out and say, hey, we've uh, released the bottles, we targeted our uh, message to the specific channels. Okay, and what are the common mistakes you can make when you try to target younger generations? I think there are a few. So uh, to begin with, there is a difference between public relations and public relationships. So gone are the days where you can send a PR press release and hope for the best. It is about cultivating relationships with uh, the people that follow you, the, your customers, your consumers. Also having a clear and authentic voice. Uh, just telling them what you think they want to hear instead of asking them what they want to hear and giving that to them is another one. As well as sometimes trying to be too funny or uh, seeing other brands being more playful and deciding, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out there and use a lot of hashtags and a lot of emojis and a lot of, um, you know, uh, cringing uh, words. So it is about making sure that you cover all your basics and then asking your demographic what it is that they want. Okay, thank you for your insights and the insights in these coming generations and also thank you for being part of the Strategy Days Marketing and Contact Center. Thank you, it has been really amazing.